Hey what's up everyone, my name is Thijs and welcome to Dual Wielded. This is the first devlog for a new project. Pretty cool, you don't start a new project every week, you know. Well, oh, right. Well, this game is going to be a mobile city builder and manager with the goal of spreading awareness of plastic waste and that we need to stop throwing stuff away on the streets. So this game is a group project. We started with five, but... Well, there's only three of us left, but the other guys are pretty passionate about game design as well, so I feel like we could definitely end up with something cool. So let me explain the idea and show you what we've made so far. You play as a mayor of a non-existing city. Well, well that just sounds really sad. And you have to build the city from scratch, maybe. We're not sure if we should start off with absolutely nothing or a small village. So anyways, there are a couple of stats and meters that I'll get into later. Just for this devlog, there are only two that are actually important. This one shows you the amount of citizens your city has and this one shows you their mood or happiness. This button allows you to place a house wherever you want in the grid, except the water, and you also can't place a house on top of another house. There's a preview of the house to show exactly where you're going to place it. It might look weird because the preview is a good distance above the mouse position, but you should keep in mind that since this is going to be a mobile game, you can't really see where you're placing the house if your gigantic finger is covering the 10 grid cells around the house. That's why the preview can just be seen above the finger. When you place a house, the capacity for the amount of citizens increases. Now people can start moving to your... B city? Basically, the way the system works for now, every two seconds a person thinks about moving to your city. Since the people in your city have the happiness meter filled for 80%, there's an 8% chance that someone new enters the city. But at the same time, because 20% of the bar is not filled, there's a 2% chance that someone leaves. Right now, this happiness doesn't change, but we want it to be based on an algorithm that looks at several other stat bars. You can also zoom in and out and move the camera around. There's also a button that opens up a panel. This panel gives you two options. We want these to randomly pop up throughout the game as random events or dilemmas for which the mayor should choose one of the two options. These options change the city stats. The stats I haven't mentioned before are the amount of money you have, the healthiness of the environment, the amount of plastic your citizens use, and the amount of waste they produce. So what we want to make are factories and supermarkets that can be placed. The factories produce plastic and the supermarkets sell items that include that plastic. Your citizens want to have plastic products. They're actually enormous fans of plastic, which means the happiness meter somewhat depends on the amount of plastic you produce and sell, and that way the amount of citizens somewhat depends on it as well. So you need to keep your plastic production high enough, but this raises the plastic waste bar as well, since not every piece of plastic gets recycled correctly. Next to the factory and the supermarket, you can also build recycle companies. They'll have garbage trucks driving around picking up the waste that's filling the streets. However, they probably can't pick up everything, so some of the waste will remain. This lowers the environment meter. This meter changes the visuals of your city, making the water filled with plastic and dead fish and the land filled with plastic and dead birds. Your citizens don't like it when the environment meter is low, so their happiness meter will lower and they'll start leaving the city. You can prevent this from happening by spending money on campaigns and stuff like that to teach your citizens how to recycle correctly. They'll learn small things like, your citizens now know that tin cans should be thrown in plastic bins. This way the player will learn the same thing and maybe remember it next time they'll throw away a can. You can't really win the game, you just have to manage the city as long as possible. The game ends if you're left with zero citizens. All of this might sound overwhelming, but with every devlog more stuff will be done and everything will get more clear if you watch all the way through. Please let me know what you think of the game so far. Maybe you have some ideas about things we should add or remove. Or maybe just change up. The game is going to be more fast paced than you would think. But more about that in the next devlog. For now, thanks for watching. You can leave a like if you want to, subscribe and join my Discord server. Next week's video will not be a devlog, but something else. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. My masterpiece, almost complete, just two more.